Hi, welcome to this tutorial on creating custom brushes in Craft Artist and Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. Before we begin, create a brushes folder on your hard drive. We're going to be using that folder to import and export some small files. And next we're going to create a My Brushes category within the uh, brushes over here. So you're going to click at the top and navigate up and you'll see three categories. Click on Global. If I say click, I mean left click. I'll, um, now I'll say right click to add. So you'll go to Global and right click in that window and click on Add. And give your uh, brush category a name. I call mine My Brushes, but you can name it whatever you like. And we'll just navigate down to My Brushes so you can see these are different custom brushes that I've created. Your category will um, be empty, but we're going to fill it up real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, drag an embellishment over. Any embellishment will work or photo or whatever you have. I'm going to size it down. Uh, if, if the embellishment's too big, the actual brush size will be too uh, small because of aspect ratio. So. Uh, it, there's, it's no exact science, just get it to some point that you want it to be. And then select it by clicking on the select. And you should have uh, all of these uh, squares around it. Now, go to File, Export, Export as Image. And there's two settings that I need you to make sure are set in here. The first is that make sure this says Selected Items. If you have it at page, for example, it's going to pick up the whole page and that's not going to make a very good brush. So we're going to click on Selected Items and I set this to Windows HD Photo. You can also set it to Portable Network Graphics, but I think the HD Photo has a better resolution. And then just say Export and give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, New Star and save. So now that has been saved to the folder that um, I asked you cre to create. And the next thing we want to do is to uh, go over here to my brushes and just this will be empty in yours but it doesn't matter. Uh, just anywhere in here you want to right click and say add. And now we're going to navigate and find that uh, starfish file that we just created. So click on Browse for a different texture. And I'm going to click on New Star and Open. And now we're importing this as a brush. This area here is known as the head. This is the body and this is the tail. The name of it is New Star and it's going to be stored in My Brushes. Now this is important. Down here are the two modes that we're going to toggle back and forth. One is simple and the other is stretch. Just disregard the rest of them. For this example, we're just going to keep it at simple and say OK. So now uh, we now have our first custom brush and it's called New star. It does put these in alphabetical order so let's just click on new star and then we're going to click on brushes and we're going to increase the size of the brush and you'll notice that there's this circle. If you don't see that circle you want to make sure that your brush size is big enough so we're going to then draw with our brush and you can see it made a very nice uh, brush. Now we can select that brush stroke and what you want to try to get in the habit of doing once you create a brush is to go to tools and convert to bitmap and say OK. And so now um, you can use this as any other graphic. You can resize it whatever you like to do. So let's go ahead. That's the exact same procedure. There are a little bit of uh, differences. For example, we can go into uh, New Star by um, right-clicking on it and go to Edit. 
and this will come up again. If we change this to back to the other mode I was talking about, stretch, and say OK, you'll notice that it the pattern gets stretched out and then um, when you go to use that brush it's going to have a completely different look. It's going to it's not going to repeat that body section, it's going to stretch it out. And um, that can be useful for some things that we'll look at later. So let's move on and look at some examples. Uh, this is a, a brush that I created with this embellishment and I did uh, convert it to bitmap so that I could uh, size it easily. Here's some other brushes. You can also uh, take a brush uh, that you have created and apply effects to it. Uh, moving on, uh, this is, uh, let's take a look at some of these. This is a uh, a brush that I created from just doing a search on the internet for uh, a road with a yellow line. So uh, you can get your uh, sources for a brush anywhere. So I just imported this from the internet and I created a brush. We'll just do it real quick. File, export, export as image, everything set, export. I'm going to call it row RR. We'll just call it RR. Save and then go to brushes and I'm going to I'll delete these so that they don't get confused. I'm going to right click anywhere in here and say add. I'm going to search for RR open and there it is. It's in here and what I'm going to do with this one just because the edges seem to be a little blurry, I'm going to drag this in and this in so that this part doesn't get repeated and then it will have a nice consistent look as it's being uh, repeated. And we'll just say we're going to set this to uh, simple and say OK. Now when we go to this brush, and increase the size. You'll see it, it's just a nice road. So if you ever want to put a road in a project, now you have an easy method. This, uh, These lamps here we will go to one of those real quick and just take a look. Right click and edit. This part I put in the body, so I mean in the head, so it doesn't get repeated, and this part in the tail, so it doesn't get repeated, and then this section here will get repeated. So if we uh, then draw with that brush, and make sure that if I hold the shift key down and just drag a little bit. There is my lamp that I can make any size that I like and I can then go and go to tools. Again, this is a good habit to get into. Convert to bitmap. OK. And then I can size it also to be whatever size I like. Alright, so that's it for um, creating your own brushes. As you can see between uh, the different brushes and effects, there's many, many possibilities. And just for a teaser for the next GBAT, we're going to be exploring how to create custom frames using brushes. This is a custom frame that I created using brushes. And uh, here's another. And here's a few more. So we're going to be uh, exploring that in the next uh, GBAT8. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.